Welcome to Western Skyways. Western Skyways remanufactures continental and Lycoming piston engines. If you own an aircraft, I'm sure that you're well aware of the legendary Gold Seal engine. From air cargo carriers, air ambulance, government agencies, to the weekend guy that flies around in his debonair. We also offer the XL engine, from an O320 all the way up to an IO360. Actually, Western Skyways, we do between 40 and 50 of the piston engines a month here. I believe we're probably second only to the factories. We're close to 100 employees. Our quality control department has to be on top of things all the time. Our facility, uh, we have a combined space of about 130,000 square feet. Both of the facilities are uh, side by side on the Montrose Airport with runway access. One can fly into uh, and, and taxi into either facility. It's our job here at Western Skyways to uh, get the information for the customer, get all the options laid out so that you're armed to make the decision that's best for your, your situation. You know, whether it's a factory engine you need or somebody else's engine, we're going to tell you what the best option is. We really pride ourselves on helping customers make the right decision. For example, the other day we had a fellow call in with a prop strike on his engine. Uh, he thought he needed a, an overhaul, you know, wanted a factory reman or or ours, but uh, after looking at the numbers, we found out it was in his best interest to stick with uh, the prop strike inspection. The insurance company picked up majority of the cost, so he walked away with very little out of pocket. Meanwhile, we're hopefully satisfying a customer and building a relationship for the next time. The customer service is very important to Western Skyways. Uh, we even We'll pick up engines, we'll deliver engines, uh, we'll pick up an engine like in Salt Lake or Denver or Phoenix. I just picked up three in Albuquerque. Uh, if a customer needs an engine, I mean, we're there. We'll come right now and we'll, we'll be there within hours if they need us. Uh, we have a core bank of engines here, over 100 engines that we own that we can exchange with people all the time. So that's very helpful. This is production control and customer service. We monitor the flow of engines through the production process, and we also maintain contact with the customers on the status of their engines. Uh, the focus of our effort is to ensure the customers are well informed of the status of their engines, so they don't need to call us, we call them before they need to call us. The attention to detail is important because we do all of the AD research and comply with all of the service bulletins when we're in the process of doing the engine. And we even have record of the run sheet for the test cell run, and that is part of your logbook. All of our engines that come through the shop that are customer reman or furnished exchange get a fresh engine logbook. If they are customer remands, their existing logbooks follows with it. I'm the warranty administrator here with our gold seal engines that have been out there for several years. Uh, the product is, is real good and hardly any phone calls in the warranty. Uh, in my downtimes, I actually am helping out with the sales department, selling engines, quoting engines. We pride ourselves on our customer service and our customer relations along with our engines. I'm the Chief Inspector for Western Skyways. I handle all the FAA documents and technical data for the repair station. We work closely with our FISDO, our FAA personnel to uh, bring an excellent level of safety. Nobody out there is asking us from the government to do this. We are doing it on our own. It is our own pride and initiative, I guess, to, to meet, actually to exceed any of the FAA requirements. This area is known as disassembly, and the engines are unloaded and brought in here, and lots of digital photos are taken of each fitting part in the entire engine. As the engines are disassembled, we put only the parts from each individual engine on a separate cart, which is important to keep engines and different parts from being intermixed. This is the cleaning department. Here we have different um, types of machines such as the soda blast machine, glass feeders, and uh, 
dishwashers for washing off oil and grease. Here we clean the parts and inspect them with fluorescent penetrant so that we can check for cracks. We check cases, accessory housings, everything that's aluminum we check with fluorescent penetrant. We use a black light and if there's any cracks inside anything, it'll leak out and then we'll be able to see it such as this one here. This is a Magnaflux machine. We use it to check all of our steel parts, uh, crankshafts, connecting rods, any of the steel gears. This crankshaft, for instance, has suffered a uh, prop strike. And sure enough, right on the flange, it's cracked. I'd like to explain static and dynamic balance. Um, this fixture here is um, in static balance right now. And then you can also have dynamic balance. Continental Motors only believes in static balance. They, um, they give you half an ounce of uh, weight variation between uh, connecting rods and pistons. Here's a set of connecting rods that Continental Motors says is perfectly legal. Uh, they're actually a completely uh, matched set um, for the total weight. Now the problem is, is whenever you look at the large end weight, then we have um, a very large variance in weight. You can have your static balance with these, but then when you go to start this engine up, you're gonna have uh, a very unbalanced engine. And we at Western Skyways believe that uh, you deserve better than that. So what we do is we will take your pistons, we will match the complete set of pistons, We'll take the piston pins and do a complete match set of those. And then also on the connecting rods, we will match the total weight and then also the large end weight. To finish up the static balance of the pistons and piston pins and connecting rods, we'll use one of our two Stuart Warner balancers and spin up the crankshaft and do a dynamic balance. Here in the inspection department, we take a cart right directly from cleanup as it comes out the door. We will visual everything on all the shelves, all the aluminum, all the steel parts. Once we have visually inspected them, then we will take them into our NDT room, which is non-destructive testing. We do not like to use service limits on any component. We like to have them all in new part limits. This crankshaft, we have installed the crank gear on it. We have installed our balance set of rods on here. We have also already done the dynamic balance on here. Our counterweights are installed and it is ready to have the case wrapped around it on our buildup line. This case we have prepared for buildup. We have installed the bearings previously. We have applied the Hylomar to both case halves, and we have applied the silk thread to the Hylomar, and this is what will prevent the case from leaking once the case halves have been assembled. Uh, in this department, uh, we deal with a really close tolerance and with two to three ten thousandths, dealing with the rods and rockers, and. Uh, the machining on their starter adapters. Uh, the quality of work that comes out of here is very precise. Uh, coming from the background of dealing with aerospace and defense contractors, uh, you basically had one shot to do everything right and that's the way we do it here. This is the aircraft accessory uh, section. We overhaul uh, starters, alternators, magnetos, and then we do some of the more complicated stuff like the fuel injection systems, uh, turbos, and all of your turbo controllers and such. Um, we overhaul them and repair them also, and we have the capability of bench testing just about all of it. And uh, we do all that for our engine line, plus we do it for outside work, and a lot of other engine shops use our accessories. We have nine people working here. Uh, we're all cross-trained to do each other's jobs. We keep about two people per system. We have our uh, light combing or Bendix servo crew, and then we have a uh, continental fuel injection system crew, we have a magneto crew, I have an exhaust uh, and turbo components crew. I've been working for Western Skyway since 1975. Here I'm working on a fuel injection flow bench for fuel injection system um, custom made by Western Skyways. It's one of a kind in the country and um, it's very unique that we can run for high volume systems two different fuel injection systems at a time. Uh, continental on this side, light combing on this side. We overhaul all of our fuel systems in-house to support our engines. <music>